Now let's talk about the future of work and how we're making apps more contextual and people-centric so you can build a new class of collaborative applications. It starts with Microsoft Graph, which underlies Microsoft 365 and makes available to you information about people, their relationships, and all of their artifacts. Today, we are seeing developers around the world enriching their apps with Microsoft Graph. In fact, more than half of the Microsoft 365 tenants are using custom-built and third-party apps powered by the Graph. With Graph connectors, ISVs can extend their applications and have them be discovered as part of the user's everyday tasks, whether they are writing an email, meeting on Teams, or doing a search. Uh, for example, data from an app can appear directly in an organization's search results, as you can see in the experience Figma is building here. You can compose a mail and at mention files uh, from these apps in line, and you can access them in Teams chat too. And another way you can create interactive experiences is by building live, actionable loop components using adaptive cards like partner Zoho has done. Your users can make decisions and take action like updating the status of a ticket right in the flow of work. And updates are always live, like this one across Outlook, Teams, and Zoho. When you combine the Microsoft Graph with Microsoft Teams, you combine the data that describes how people work together with the place they work together. It's incredibly powerful. And developers are extending their apps into Teams and embedding Teams in their apps. In fact, monthly usage of third-party apps and custom-built solutions on Teams has grown 10x over the last two years. And more and more ISVs are generating millions of revenue from customers using apps built on Teams. Adobe, for example, is integrating Sign with Teams, enabling users to share documents and sign them during Teams meetings from anywhere on any device. At Build, we're introducing new capabilities to help you design rich collaborative experiences. One of the updates I'm most excited about is live share experience for apps in Teams meetings. We've offered real-time collaborative software development capabilities for some time now in Visual Studio Live Share, and now we're bringing real-time collaborative meeting capabilities to teams with live share experience. Working on apps in meetings should be multiplayer. With live share, your apps can go beyond passive sharing so your end users can actively co-watch, co-create, co-edit content together, making live meetings truly interactive. Our partners are reimagining meetings with live share. One example is Hexagon. Hexagon builds manufacturing solutions for engineering teams and is using these capabilities to reinvent how collaborative engineering reviews are done. With Live Share, Hexagon brings engineers as well as simulation and quality experts together in real time. They can highlight, annotate, edit 3D models and simulations. This connects traditionally siloed faces of product development together right within teams. And Skillsoft is using Live Share to deliver interactive training on Teams. With synchronized video annotations and instructor controls, Skillsoft is creating new ways for people to learn together. All these capabilities will be available to you with Teams SDKs.